Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. As you can probably guess, we are doing a challenge run here. This is from uh, Reddit user bconrad217, and it's called The Addicts. So the way that this run is going to work, we are starting with Mom's Bottle of Pills, PhD, Nun's Habit, Battery, and 9 Volt. Item rooms are not allowed, so suck it, Lemon Mishap, we can't take you. Uh, but boss rooms and shops are allowed, we are allowed to take the item rooms from that, and we're just going to try to make it as far as we can go, basically. So we have the PhD... The 9 volt, nuns habit, and battery. So we're beginning we're gonna be getting pills like crazy, and the pills should not be bad. The pills should largely be good. And if you don't think about it, this might seem like a run that's a little bit more difficult than my standard challenge run. You know, like I had that one run that was sacred tears and you know homing shots and stuff like that, all familiars. I actually think this run gives us one of our greatest chances of success. Because uh, simply put, we're gonna have so many tears, or sorry, so many pills, and the pills are all gonna be at least identifiable. So we're going to be able to see what they do, and like I said, we're going to be able to get a bunch of stat upgrades. I'm expecting a lot of health up, a lot of full health pills, um, as well as, you know, the ability to get some super fast tears firing. We're already sort of seeing that to a certain extent. But anyway, I'm going to stick to the exact rules. I kind of think that it might be a little bit too easy if I'm allowed to go, if I'm allowed to take items from boss rooms, but I'm going to take them anyway, because I was allowed to take them. And again, no items are really off the table here. This is one of the most upvoted comments in that Reddit thread. I keep checking back on that. Uh, it's basically a thread on the Binding of Isaac subreddit, which is reddit.com slash r slash Binding of Isaac, for anyone who's not aware. Uh, and yeah, I keep checking in on that every day, and people keep leaving comments telling me what challenge runs they'd like to do. I look at the YouTube ones as well, I kind of weigh those equally. And also, apparently, there's a thread on the Saving Progress forums that I need to look at as well. But for now, anyway, we're going to see how this works. I'm going to wait until Steven stops moving. I'm going to take this pill. We don't know what it does yet. Speed up. Okay, we'll take that. That's going to be immediately useful. So we already have three statistic upgrades only on the first floor here. The downside, of course, is that we're never going to be able to get a damage upgrade unless we get it from a boss or deal with the devil. Or from little Steven here, I guess. That's another way that could happen. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult, I guess, for us to start actually doing damage. And as you can see, this fight is not going exceptionally well. It's not going the way I normally do it anyway. Now it is. Uh, but normally I don't like to keep... You know, Steven alive. Well, little Steven is doing his business as well. Like some privacy while little Steven's doing his business, you know? So hopefully in uh, six or seven more shots this will be dead. We'll get actual Steven, which is just a straight up damage upgrade. Love that. We also get another tears upgrade. <laughs> and we're already firing like pretty high damage, really high frequency tears. I'm interested to see how this run shakes out in the long term. It it'll certainly be interesting. You know, whatever happened to the explosive diarrhea pill? It's been so long. Since I've actually seen it. This is a room where it would actually come in handy because we could blow up that tinted rock. Um, hopefully, I, like, I'm, I'm not sure if it's been taken out of the game or something or if it just never shows up anymore. It's weird though. Because that used to show up all the dang time. Uh, we're going to get another pill once we finish the next room at some point anyway. I still don't have any money really. I do have keys so I should go to the item room. But we'll fight the boss first because why not? We're already here. We get another speed upgrade. That's not the boss. That is the curse room. I don't know how I made that mistake. This is the boss. Okay. So we'll pop this open. Yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping for. More bombs. Why not go through the trouble of fighting the boss here? It's going to be regular Larry Jr. And considering the speed at which we are firing, I do not expect Larry Jr. to put up too much of a fight here. We've created three Larry Juniors. What have I done? Okay, and then there's one dead here. Yes. Again, we can just kind of hang out. Larry Jr. has trapped himself in the bottom left corner, so before we free him, why don't we uh, take care of this Larry Jr.? And then we'll go after this guy. Perfect, okay. So we get an HP upgrade, that's exactly what I wanted. We'll see what the devil has to offer for us. Nail! We can't, we, there's no way I could do this run in good conscience while getting rid of Mom's pill bottle. So what we're gonna do is take the Pact instead. We're gonna get another pill out of this. Please be a health upgrade. Because I did just spend some health. Pretty fly. Alright, yeah, that's cool too. I got nothing against that. Basically, I just took this because it means, you know, more more damage or more tears for us. I think it's both, actually. We're firing so quickly now. And again, I'm just relying on, eventually, the pill bottle being able to give us some HP upgrades. Which should come sooner or later. Where is our tinted rock? Was there one back here too? No. Was there one down in this room where the heart is? Yes, okay. So until we get those HP upgrades, obviously these spirit hearts are going to be immensely valuable to us. Of course, full health pills could always come as well. I think there's two ways you could do this run. You could either do what I do and basically just bank on getting health upgrades, or 
You can not do any trades with the deal with the devil. Try to amass as many health upgrades as possible. That luck foot might be awesome for us. Um, and then just rely on having a full health pill at basically all times. Who knows? Could work. I have no idea where the secret room is, so I'm not going to waste a bomb looking for it. Because it could be anywhere. No need to go to the shop with only... We have two cents here. Yeah, absolutely no need. And I have the feeling this run could shape up to be something special. So far, so good for sure. And we will bump on down to the next floor here. And hopefully our good luck will continue. I also thought that maybe, just maybe, this run was a little bit too pill happy. Um, wait, I took an item from the item room! Okay, I, I, that was stupid of me. But it was only luck foot, it was only a passive. People are probably yelling at the screen. Just really, it wasn't a game breaking item or anything like that. I totally forgot that item rooms are not allowed. Or are item rooms allowed in this one? I, I got this confused with another run. No, item rooms are not allowed in this one. That's totally my bad. Forget that I took the luck foot. If I could get rid of it, I would. But I, yeah, it just dawned on me that I was a big dummy and realized that item rooms were invalid invalid here. Cut me some slack. It's because I just did that uh, non-challenge run. Thank God it wasn't something amazing because I definitely would have taken it just without thinking. And we could also get balls of steel pills, which would be very beneficial for us. We obviously want to pop this as soon as possible. This is a new one. What could it be? What could it be? It is... question mark, question mark, question mark. Come on, identify yourself. And maybe we'll know when we leave this room. Uh, we got some more bombs there. We're down in this room. I don't, oh, health up! Beautiful. Exactly what we've wanted. Uh, for two bombs, we can pick up three bombs, which is a good deal. Obviously, we need some more keys because I'm a dummy and I've been using keys for item rooms, which I should not have been doing. Bad Northern Lion. We'll see what we get in here. Uh, yeah, we'll open this up because we need keys, obviously, for our shop. And now we need hearts as well. It's okay. Again, if we can just start stacking health upgrade pills, I think that's when this run is really going to take off. Although I'm digging this tears upgrade as well, which has basically just turned us from our standard Isaac into like a goddamn nightmare. It's almost, if we had technology, it would be like as close as we could get to Brimstone. Simply because our rate of fire is so damn fast. Um, pill bottle is ready. So, oh, I shouldn't have popped it while he was shooting, but I think Pretty Fly actually saved me from taking damage. There we go. We get Cancer as well, which is going to double our rate of fire. That is some fast shooting. Let's see what we've got in here with this pill. Come on. Luck up. All right. So that works well in combination with the Luck Foot, I guess. More bombs, as well as another boss fight here against the Larry Jr. wannabe. Now this one explodes, like each of the body segments explodes into bomb flies, if I remember correctly. We're gonna have to be a little bit cautious about that. Mostly though, I just want to make sure I'm continuously moving here. Did take the pill, another pretty fly. Oh, that allowed me to not take damage there, surprisingly. Okay, so we got a second pretty fly around us now. I just want to make sure I'm taking the pills, or sorry, using the pill bottle whenever possible, because that means... You know, we're going to get some extra charges on this room because we're going to be here for a reasonable amount of time. There's another pill ready as well. Pretty fly again. So we're going to use that as soon as the coast is clear. So there, we've got basically a full halo of flies around us now. There we go. We got a little slowdown, but also we've got some bomb flies killed, so that's important. Now, a few more. We've got three bomb flies left. Took some damage on this room, but, you know, even more damage. Shit happens. We get another pill, which could do anything. As well as Cat of Nine Tails, so our shot speed is now crazy as well. Uh, I want to get this health, but I want to examine the rest of the floor first. Health up! Beautiful. Sock it to me. So, we lost a little bit of spirit hearts there, or a few spirit hearts, I should say. Uh, but, we got more health up as well. We got two health upgrades on this floor. Oh man, our shots are crazy fast now. <laughs> I love it. Uh, let us just continue examining over here. Yeah, you know what? Why not? We have the bombs and keys necessary, considering we're not allowed to go to item rooms anymore anyway. Oh, get out of there. Shoot the bomb away. Didn't really work, but it did knock the key out of here at least. So we will get back to full health. And with seven bombs, I should look for the secret room, because you never know what we might find in the shop. That could potentially take us to the next level. I, could, I can't get rid of mom's pill bottle. That's definitely... that. If I found candle or something and took that instead, that would be outside of the spirit of the competition, to be sure. You know what, we're now we might as well go to the shop here. Um, so I'm struggling to think of what we could buy in the shop that I would love. Spirit hearts, obviously. Pills, I guess. Yeah, there's more pills in here. Uh, there's another health upgrade. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, if I had more money, I would have bought the compass as well, but instead let's just get a key instead. 
Instead, instead, instead. Okay, now down to the next floor. We now have five hearts, which again, in my mind, means deal with the devil. It's certainly a possibility now. Uh, I kind of want to just stack up, like, rate of fire and damage. So it's things like the, the mark. We've already taken the pact, but the mark and the deal would be cool to take. As well as flying, which would, of course, put us in a very good position here. Uh, but I'm digging this addict run so far. I think this is one of the most entertaining challenge runs we've done so far. Despite only being in the caves part two, so of course anything can happen, but uh, for now, certainly a very interesting take. We almost have like mom's knife power simply because our shots are so quick. Get another pill, which is going to be luck up. I almost think if you wanted to make this run more interesting, you would just do it without the PhD. So you just get pills constantly, but you don't know if they're going to be good or bad until it's too late. But that also has the potential to end a run very quickly, I think. What might make it a little bit more balanced is maybe if you did the run as Judas or something. I don't know. Right now it seems overpowered, but again, anything could happen. Cube of Meat is going to be a garbage item for us that is completely unnecessary, as we already have the Halo of Flies surrounding us. However, I mean, you know, maybe we get a second level Cube of Meat and then we have a familiar to go along with it. Get another luck up pill. Still kind of cloudy on what luck actually does for us. But in any case, this guy's dead fast. We are going to have the cube of meat as well as the deal with the devil where we will find Krampus. This is awesome. We are going to be firing incredibly high ranged, high damage shots. We've only gotten one range up so far. If, if that, we might actually have zero range up. But I think because of Cat of Nine Tails, that's another tiers upgrade. Um, because of Cat of Nine Tails, our shots fire way further. Because of all these tier, tiers upgrades, obviously they fire way faster too. That's another luck up. So Love of Coal is going to stack very well with this. If we just fight bosses by standing on the other side of the room, they should have basically no way of hurting us at all. And we should be able to take them down very quickly. So we get Lump of Coal and a key. Fantastic. We should at least finish this floor to see if we come across maybe the shop or something. And enough money to make the shop worthwhile, of course, is the other prerequisite there, of course. Apparently that's the trend in this episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. It's me saying the same word at the start of the sentence that I'm going to say at the end of the word the sentence anyway. We get another speed upgrade. The speed upgrades could end up making or breaking me here, but certainly incredibly fast shots and incredibly fast characters, a nice mix. Although, there's always the chance that I could just run over spikes because I'm a big dummy like that sometimes. For now, oh man, the dodging capabilities are off the charts. Uh, stand still. <laughs> was very frightened about the situation for a little while. Now we're okay. Thank you, battery, for charging up a little bit there. I could actually just let it charge again and get another pill, but why bother with that just yet? Should come back here and get this money, though. That's money with an M-U-N-N-Y. Didn't you realize? When Disney bought Star Wars, they also bought the rights to uh, Binding of Isaac and all of Edmund McMillan's games, really. So we get another luck up pill here. The luck up is crazy. So far, the only effect of luck that I can see is that when you have high luck, it allows you to get more luck. What can I say? The lucky just keep getting luckier. So let us come down and around here. On the right side, if you look to your right right now, you will see some assholes getting their shit ruined. That would be the ultimate tour. They should, I always thought when you came to like a new city, they shouldn't do daytime tours and talk about the history of the city, although that can be very interesting. What they should do is like a 2 a.m. tour and be like, this is the sketchiest place in town. Watch this dude get his shit rocked right now. I would be so down for that. So we get another health up, which is awesome. We get two more cents or we find the secret room, which has two more cents. I will certainly go to the shop. Let's go into the item room. I know I can't take the item. I'm just trying to nip it in the bud there just to see what we're missing. Mom's pad. Doesn't hurt at all, but does kind of fit with the gas masks that we're wearing or the surgical masks that we're wearing. Because I would want to be wearing a surgical mask if we were going to get anywhere near that item. So, let's see what we've got in here. Secret room police. That is not it. Secret room police. That is not it either. So we're going to come all the way over here. It's got to be this one down here. Luckily, we have enough bombs to make this pretty worthwhile. So let's check this out. Just bit my tongue there. Ow, man. It hurts. Unicorn horn. You know what? We're not going to go to the shop on this floor. I'm going to save my money, potentially buy a 15 cent item later that is better than all this shit combined. I would love to get Mom's purse. Cancer and the Polaroid. Polaroid's not going to give me much in terms of invincibility, but it will allow me to go to the chest, which is essential, of course. Uh, and I don't want to get rid of Cancer, even though we have the tears required to fire really quickly. I like having Cancer as well. Uh, 
I apologize for the insensitivity that sentence might have sounded <laughs> like it contained. Um, but I was merely, I assure you, talking about my position in the game. So there's a lot of damage for me to take, very stupidly. We're almost out of Spirit Hearts. But we got a health, oh no, we got a speed upgrade in the middle of that. As well as another luck up? I can't remember. But we're doing fine on health now, so there's no need to sweat that. Let's keep this up. Necropolis 1 could potentially earn a deal with the devil here. It's a nice shiny dime, which is going to make this shop worthwhile. Um, and hopefully this is the shop right here, not a library. But we shall see. I guess a library would be fine as well, but there's a health upgrade for us. Love getting those health upgrades. We got greed. Okay. This should mean on the next floor, unless we run into super greed, we will have the opportunity to at least buy something from one shop. But for now, more keys. And we've already been to... Oh, well, we have the item room down here. Again, we might as well. What can I say? Curiosity gets the better of me a lot of the time. We're going to check out our item room just to see if we're missing out on something amazing. Ah, Book of Shadows. It's not even that good. So we're going to come over here. Uh, and you know what? We're going to play this because this is going to give us so many more pills. Tears up. Beautiful. And let's keep this up for just a little while longer. In fact, we can just, like, play it once, and it basically gives us one pill. We get another luck up. I think we can play it two more times. Uh, in the hopes that we get the blood bag as well, of course. If we did this with Book of Shadows, we could just get crazy numbers of pills. Speed up. Okay, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We still do need some health to survive here, probably. I can't believe I haven't gotten a full health pill yet. That's the really surprising thing. Hopefully, okay. Now I'm starting to regret getting rid of so much health earlier. But, we take things slowly here. Maybe we can make this work. I hate that all the hearts congregate together. Help me, help me! Help me, help me. The deleted scene from Jerry Maguire. Uh, pretty fly. Okay, well, we'll use that. Doesn't really do anything for us. Kind of hoping we fight the second, um, I guess it would be war. I uh, know it would be, would it be war or death on this floor? This would be war. I hope we fight for war so we get that familiar and we get a little extra damage from him. Him, of course, being level 2 Meat Boy. Uh, but even if we don't, so be it. It's not the end of the world. We're, we're still doing fine for health here. We've got another Tinted Rock. Hopefully we get the small rock out of this. We get a golden chest, which contains... Uh, keys, money, and bombs. Not awful, but I would have preferred the Spirit Hearts. Now here's the real question. Yes, can that dude die before we die? Another health up. Beautiful. Now if only we can get full health. And kind of get back to the where I want to be here. Thank God that guy exploded. Um, yeah, now that I've spent so much money on the blood bank, or so much health on the... Oh, get out of there. I spent so much health on the blood bank, I kind of want to get back to full health to ensure that my investment was not for naught. Anyway, we should be able to finish this room and fight the boss. Bosses always drop a lot of health. Red hearts, please. Oh, more money. And a little bit of red heart. So let us now drop down into this boss fight. It is uh, this asshole who I hate. We get another pretty fly pill. That's very useless. Now remember, you can only hit this guy from the back. Oh, it's the champion one that drops these shitty hearts too. Uh, you can only hit this guy from the back, but when he stands still like that to create an enemy, we should have a numerous opportunities to take him down. And we will probably get another pill from this fight as well, because I expect that it'll take us a long time here. But as you can see, we're kind of tearing into him now. Don't anticipate this being too much of a problem. Almost got hit there because I was a little bit overconfident. That's okay. Here comes our pill. I got hits. We got an HP upgrade. We got a pill. The pill is luck up. <laughs> we have nine hearts, which is the most red hearts I think I've had in a long time. Finally, we can see again on this floor. So it is Necropolis. Apparently, we did not do good this year enough to earn um, a trip to the depths. It's a shame because the depths is much, much easier. Necropolis is actually oftentimes harder than the womb. So we're just going to back up a little bit here. Although the womb's been a super pain in the ass for me lately. And this this run is kind of a testament to the fact that mere stat upgrades... Oh, that was awful. Mere stat upgrades can really affect the tone of your run. You get another luck up pill. Basically, this run right now is health up, tears up, speed up. And this has allowed me... To really feel the power of the, the tears up, which sometimes I just ignore. Uh, we do want Mom's coin purse. This is awesome. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Basically, we just got two HP upgrades, another pretty fly, which is useless, uh, and a luck up, <laughs> which is comical. Um, we'll buy the pill. We'll also buy this. Another tears upgrade. 
Sick house. We are going to be getting rid of uh, the cancer trinket on this floor. So we're probably not going to get Mom's purse now. So we're going to have to rely on uh, our mere tears to increase our rate of fire. But I think we're going to be fine because we have so much. Justice, health please. Thank you very much. We are now up to 11 hearts, I believe. This run's going very well so far. I kind of feel like the fact that I've gotten so many luck ups is the game's way of saying, like, way to take that item room, you big dingo. Again, more luck ups. Those are basically our way of getting no items from a, from a, a pill now. But that's okay. Again, we're, we're doing fine. Better than fine, really. Uh, with all this health that we have. So now, if I felt bad about taking the luck foot before, I don't really feel bad about taking it now, because... Apparently, the game has a wicked sense of humor and merely feels, or feels like... You wanted luck, motherfucker? Here you go. That'll teach you to break the fucking rules. So we got this guy. We probably will use a bomb to... Oh, another pill just randomly dropped. Sure, I'll take it. Um, we do get another pill from the bottle being charged as well. That's another luck up pill, which is at this point just becoming hilarious. We come across an arcade. I guess I should go spend some money there because it should allow us to basically win every single time if that is indeed how luck works. Makes us better in the slot machines, I think. I don't know. For now, these guys have got to go down. Probably. Oh, we got another pill because I got hit there. It's another health upgrade. Again, at some point, these health upgrades don't become that worthwhile unless we can get a full health pill to compensate for it because I'm just adding heart containers without actually having them be full. The stars is item room, I think. Which is x ray goggles, which would be useful. If I, if I got that, I would enjoy it, but sadly, you know, you can't have everything in life. You can get some of the pills all the time, or all the pills some of the time, but you can't get all the pills all the time. I think Safety Cap actually allows us to get more pill drops, which is something we certainly do not need right now. Keep in mind we have Lump of Coal as well, so the further I stand away from these guys, the more damage I'll do. Uh, our pill is another health upgrade. At this point, just becoming kind of hilarious. We got a little a regular size chub. I'm sorry I didn't mean to insult you. I always wondered what those TNT barrels in the corner were supposed to do for me. Like, if I could blow those up when Chubb was near them. Seems like more hassle than it's worth right now. Okay. We're just gonna keep this up. Um, we're gonna go up, I guess. Because I'm just trying to, like, I realize this is definitely not where the boss is gonna be, but I want to go to every single room a anyway, even if they are dead ends, because they represent the potential to get more pills. Like health ups that you can see right there. And this is what I was really hoping for from the start of this run, was getting like health upgrades out the ass, and then preferably leveraging them into deals with the devil, but that's something that we haven't really been able to do with one exception. Uh, but it's possible once we get down to the womb, we'll get another deal with the devil and be able to do that up. But for now, uh, yeah, again, it, it's impossible for me to complain about the way that this run is going so far. Possibly the most powerful challenge run that we've had so far, in spite of the fact that we only really started with a lot of potential. We didn't start with anything really actualized. But hey. That's how it works sometimes. We get another health upgrade. We do have 11 full heart containers now. Uh, as well as several that are obviously empty, although I don't know how many there are because they stretch off the screen. And what we might do is, is play that blood bank a few more times. Get some pills, maybe get a full health pill, maybe get some health upgrades. Who knows, I thought that was the tick and I almost walked over it. Scary stuff. Uh, so let's see. Pills are now available. Health up, okay. We gotta strike a good balance between heart containers and actual functional, uh, there we go, hearts. Uh, so that's gonna bring us back to full health. And it also gives us a speed upgrade as well. I have no idea how much health we have at this point, but a lot, to, to say the least. Um, and we're basically, we're firing like, pretty much like a segmented brimstone here, just continuous shots like crazy. I wish we got mom's purse, that's the one complaint I do have. But again, at some point, you know, we can't really be mad about the items that we have. That's another speed upgrade. May or may not be useful at this point. I might be at max speed. Oh, I don't think so. I feel like I'm on a skating rink now, so... Certainly that speed upgrade, I think, is, has worked. Oh, barely dodged that. And now we're just gonna try to find some safe spots here. Where I can send some shots in without getting hit myself. We should get another pill at the end of this room. We do not. Uh, we'll get a pill very early on in this mom fight, I think. Whether, we're not, whether or not we're able to use it without being hit is another story. But, oh, well, we got one right away. Tears up. Uh, I might not use it, but I'll, I'll take it so that the pill bottle can charge anyway. And again, doing so much damage here. That was bad damage on my part. We'll take the tears up and then get ready to use uh, the pill again. 
That was more bad damage for me. We got another tears up. Let's take that. And then let's stop distracting ourselves with the pill and remember that we're here to actually get some kills. Mom's bottle of kills is what we're going for now. This is really what I should have named this run from the get-go. Why didn't you think of that, user? Whose name I can't look at right now because I'm in the middle of a heated battle. B something. B Carvon. I'm thinking here. So, so much for that full health I got recently. I've lost a lot of health on this room. But I've amassed a number of pills as well. Okay, stop fucking around. There's just so much shit going on. This is the worst mom fight I've ever had. Health up. Okay. Is it dead? Almost. Foot. Just send the foot down. Thank you. Okay. So we get a range upgrade. We have the health upgrade we should take. We'll take the health. We got luck up. I was really hoping that was full health. This is speed up. Speed up. Okay. Now things aren't looking so hot. I've got to make sure that I don't take very much more damage, and I need to get back to full health. It boggles my mind that we have not gotten a single full health pill. I'm not sure if we have some weird item combination that's blocking it. Maybe because we can't get bad trip, we can't get full health. Because, you know, they're two sides of the same coin, man. Oh, that's pretty fly, and I definitely should not have just stood there and taken that one on the chin. Again, just play it cool. Just play You've played Isaac before. And you have great items here, so just relax. Take the pretty fly, take the health. Take the pretty fly. <laughs> if this actually worked, like if those pretty flies actually functioned, I would have like dozens right now. There are dozens of us. Get in the spikes here. More health, please. We're gonna have to get full health the old fashioned way, I guess. I'm waiting for a blood bank and then getting the blood bag. Oh, did I not get hit there amazingly somehow? Uh, no, just by slowly amassing red hearts like so. And now I'm trying to get to the boss before we... Like, not not sweating so much the idea of getting as many pills as possible. Because we already have enough heart containers to make this work for us. What we need now is real red hearts. Which I am hemorrhaging to a certain extent. There's another luck up. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't even know that guy was still alive. I thought he disappeared. Um, more keys we will take. We'll fight whoever our boss is here and then move down to the wound part too. Okay, perfect. We are going to get at least our second level Meat Boy. Which allows us to do a little bit more damage. It's probably the best thing we could have hoped for right now. Beyond like a, an, I don't know, a pentagram or something. We are firing a little bit more slowly than we did when we had cancer, but... I mean, that's to be... Under, that's understandable, I guess. Uh, yes. Don't... Ah, I can't believe that hit me. Stop giving me Pretty Fly. It's literally worthless right now. If we got a third level Meat Boy, one Pretty Fly would be worth something. But we didn't, so... You know, sucks to your ass more on that one. Almost took damage there. To a certain extent, almost took damage there. Oh, we killed him. Super quick. Okay. So we got our second level cube of meat. Got some more shots firing in now. That's probably not going to make a marked difference in uh, the way we're playing here. But it's fun nonetheless. So just dodge. The good thing about the kind of setup that we have right here is that if an enemy gets close to me, I do have the damage to take it down pretty quick before it does damage to me. Usually, that's what I get for being cocky there, I guess. Another speed upgrade. Seriously, a single full health pill would make me feel so much better about the way things are going. Or, you know, a lover's tarot card. So many potential things. I'm scared here. Battery should charge soon. Oh, we're going to take some more damage there. Tears up, sure, sock it to me. We can use it. Just trying to avoid taking more damage. We are down to four health now. Oh, man. I cannot lose before Mom's heart on this run. It was going so well. But the apparent non-existence of full health pills kind of cut into my strategy a little bit because that was one of the things I was really banking on to be, uh, you know, a great predictor of my success here was getting health upgrades, which we got like probably 10 of so far, uh, but also full health pills to supplement those health upgrades, which is apparently impossible. Health upgrades continue though, who knows, maybe we'll get full health at some point. Now we probably are going to go into this arcade, my reasoning being, uh, that was those were bad bombs, I could have gotten in there with only using one, but that's okay. Uh, my reasoning being, let's play the shit out of these guys, get some uh, health upgrades and maybe that'll carry me through the rest of the game. I've got incredible luck, so I'm kind of expecting to succeed here in the uh, arcade. If that is indeed what luck does, apparently none of us know what luck do. What luck do? 
They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. So we are gaining some health here. And again, I could play that Blood Bank. But that's a last resort to kind of get back to full health and get that Blood Bag. Especially since we only have one play uh, per heart now. So we get a pill, that's a luck up. Hopefully that'll help me. I don't think I was at max yet. Keep it going. More hearts, spirit hearts, you know, they, they count too. And we can still continue to play these like another 10 times each. Another pill, that's another health up, which is uh, both good and bad. Speed up, again, both good and bad. I would rather have red hearts at this point. But I appreciate their um, commitment to feeding me pills here. And there's our dollar bill, so... <laughs> I guess now we can play this guy like a thousand times. Which I really do not want to do. Maybe if we just get back to full health, I would be happy. I was really expecting to win that one. I don't know, I'm expecting to win more than I do because... Damn, luck is so high. Seriously, just hook me up with hearts here, buddy. Save me some time. Is that a tinted rock in the corner? Maybe we'll get lucky there. Well, four more bombs. It's gonna be good against Mom's heart. You know what? This guy gets... Until we get down to 90 cents. And then I'm gonna stop. Again, the keys, the bombs, it's all very nice, but it's not what I want right now. But it, it is very nice, I'll admit. <laughs> Here's the hearts. This is what I want. Two hearts, please. Of course, that's the one we lose. The only one I want to win... Now, inevitably, we'll win two cents here. Oh, never mind. So much for my spike. Come on, you got the hearts for me. I... Three-headed man, have you seen how many luck up I've gotten? Why is my English so bad right now? Seriously, hook me up, please. More keys. It didn't say hook me up keys, hook me up please with more hearts. We're at 90 cents now. But I can't stop until this guy... Uh, screws me over on another, like, a heart opportunity. Because right now, you know, it's just keys and bombs. And money. When I see him eschew me, when it comes for hearts, I'm gonna be pissed. Well, here's Fly Love. I would take that, too. Why not? Okay. So let's leave. Um, didn't necessarily gain anything there. Well, I guess we gained some hearts. Oh, and now I've taken some damage immediately. Uh, we, we gained a Spirit Heart, which is now gone. And if we just pop a bomb down here... Kill that dude, and get another red heart, and another luck up. Could have used that before the casino. Maybe we would have won more than we did. Why are these things not dying? Kill the lasers! Accidentally killed, uh, the... Another health up. Accidentally killed the, um, non-laser before the laser. That's a tears upgrade. I think it's worth trying for. Okay, good thing they stopped me there. I had so much momentum. We'll get out. Okay, so we're gonna fight Mom's Heart here. I expect that this fight will go fine. Things will get a little trickier once we get up to the cathedral. Because we're gonna, again, remember that when you fight Isaac and Blue Baby, they take, or they do damage, or they shoot, I should say, to be 100% correct, based on the number of shots you hit them with. And we're gonna be hitting him with shots continuously. Luckily, we do have the uh, Halo of Flies, which should help us avoid taking some damage at least. And we're able to kill these bosses very quickly. And we should get some pills soon. Why that shot, why that bomb did not fire in there is beyond me, by the way. What I should do, yeah, we'll check this out. Another health upgrade, awesome. We don't get any treasure here. I'm just hoping against hope we get some kind of full health jaunt at some point. Let's put a bomb here, end their lives. Didn't end anybody's life. Um, how about this guy's life? Can I end this guy's life? Can I, Dad, please, huh? Can I? If we lose this run, we will set the record, I'm sure. Oh, that's not good. I'm sure for most um, empty heart containers, because we have like 50 right now. And sadly, no way to fill them. What is, water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. Please, help me out here. Single full health. Single full health. Shoot the bomb, thank you. That was actually a very good bomb shoot. I got lucky there. He is dead. Drop 10 hearts when you die, mom. Gonna keep this up. We got continuous bombs coming now. Chubs in our face, which I hate. And things got very, very close there, but we managed to get out of there, okay? At least for now. Still going? Alright, so I'm just focusing on mom's heart here, because I don't give a shit about Chubb. Chubb will die when mom dies anyway. In fact, mom may actually end up killing Chubb. I think I actually got the killing blow there, but you get my point. Alright, so we get another tears upgrade. We go up to the next floor. Interesting run so far. Turned out better than our last run, at least. 
the last several, I think, actually. More hearts. Fantastic. We're back in, you know, the possible zone where anything can happen. There's our boss room. That was very fast. So that's good for us. I can't believe I didn't take damage there. We got seven chance or seven hits that we can take against this Dingleberry. Known as Blue Baby. Sorry, Isaac first. Um, I, I give us like a 33% chance of success. We'll see how it works. Lover's card. Ah, uh, Hermit. Lover's card would have been beneficial there. Let's give it a try, shall we? Huh? Okay. So here we go. I'm not feeling super great. A single full health pill would give me like 40 hearts to take out Isaac here. Sadly, you can't always get what you want, as we know. I'm not even going to fuck with the pills here, because it's unnecessary. And why make things more complicated than they need to be? All we need to do is get to the chest. And I would consider this run an unequivocal success. And a lot of fun, actually. Because it, it plays into my love of gambling. That, you know, every few rooms we get the chance to pick up something that could make or break us. Well, not break us, really. Largely make us. It was like gambling where you always win. By the way, thank you, Halo of Flies, for blocking so many shots so far. And if we don't take any damage on this fight, which is a long shot, but if we don't, uh, we're going to get through the entire cathedral with the basically the Cathedral Boy achievement, which doesn't exist. But if it did, it would be getting through the cathedral without taking any damage whatsoever. It's going to be difficult. And there we go, we took some damage, but at least we, we gave it the old college try there in the middle. There was a time when it looked like it was possible. And we're still not taking very much damage. Again, this is largely due to the sweet-ass halo of flies we have around us at all times. I'm just going to back this up. We do have a little slowdown. I still haven't slotted that RAM into this computer yet, mostly because I haven't bought it, but that will be happening this weekend for sure. Although I'm recording this video on a Friday, you're probably watching it like the Saturday following because I've been on a huge Isaac kick lately. This is what I mean, like this challenge run thing has revitalized my love of Isaac. I got like a five video backlog again. Uh, so let's check this pill. Speed up, sure, why not? I almost used the Hermit, which would have been terrible. Speed up. All right, so now let's see what we get in these. These are not item rooms, so I'm gonna take them. These are golden chests. Forget me now, yeah, let's double up on the chest. That'd be fun. Yum Heart. Okay, I'm gonna use it once. I realize I have to stick with the pills. But to use Yum Heart once. The thing is, if we if we got rid of pill bottle and took the Yum Heart, we'd win. Almost certainly. I mean, we, we got some tough rooms ahead of us. But in all likelihood, we'd be able to amass enough health to stand a good chance of success. But instead, we're gonna have to do things the hard way. At least we know at this point. If we get to Blue Baby with a, a amount of health close to this, or, you know, reasonably close to this, we should be okay to at least give it the old try, but, um, you know, we'll see. For now, there's an extra half heart drop there, but I lost a, a full heart. And we got a speed upgrade, and a sacrificial dagger, which is going to replace one of the pretty flies again. Again, making it basically worthless to have these pretty fly pills in the first place. And if we succeed here, it will be almost entirely because of tears upgrades. As well as that, uh, I guess the deal with the devil we did earlier in the game that allowed us to get a little bit of extra damage. Oh, that was bad. On my part, I got stuck on the door. That's what I don't like about... I, I, I feel like it happens in other areas in the chest, but I also feel like the, the chest happens more often. Um, sometimes I feel like I get stuck on the door more than usual. So we get another luck up. I don't even know what I want. If, if health upgrades also gave you... It's another... No, oh, tears up. If health upgrades also gave you the heart along with the health upgrade, then that would be great, because every health that we picked up would also equate to a heart. However, as you know, they are merely empty heart containers, and nothing more presents kind of a problem for us. We have the speed necessary to get through here. The real question is whether or not we have the tactical know-how. I don't know which one of these guys is hurt more. Maybe they're both fairly damaged. Someone's got to go, though. Oh, there we go. Wrath is gone. Now we've just got Sloth. Who may, yes, I was thinking, give us a tarot card. Another health up pill. Who knows if that comes in handy later. Homing bombs, sure, why not? And hanged man, which allows us to fly. Who knows when that could come in handy. So we have war and famine here. I want to take out famine first. Because he's easier to kill. And then we can focus on fighting war all at once. Although famine is now on the other side of the screen. We have some pills. There's another speed upgrade. It's unnecessary. Kill Famine. Kill him. Hack the bone. You can do it. I know you can do it. Oh, where is he now? 
Oh, there he is. He's back. Don't push him out of the way again. Okay, we're continuing to take incredibly dumb damage here. The bright side is that um, we are going to get out of this room without taking any more damage because War is in his permanent walking state. We do not get any extra HP, which is a real problem. We do get a health upgrade, though. Huge play for us right now. Uh, and we do have the Hanged Man. I don't know, man. For the sake of this run, I'm going to basically concede and say that I have to use Yum Heart for at least like a couple of rooms here. I, I, in my defense, it was never stipulated in the suggestions for this run, or in the guarantees for this run, the, the conditions for this run, uh, that it was 100% necessary to hold on to the pill bottle the entire time. I feel like I've done right by the, the spirit of the challenge so far. So all I'm doing here is giving myself a better chance for success. Although I'm gonna die in a second anyway. What's the yeah, app? There we go. That's what I get for getting rid of the pill bottle. But anyway, that was a lot of fun. I like that run. Thank you to Conrad 217 on Reddit for suggesting that. Again, continue suggesting your comments in the YouTube videos. Binding of Isaac subreddit. Don't spam it though. Just find the thread. Uh, or the Saving Progress forums. HTTP colon backslash backslash. Only one backslash. My bad. Um, it doesn't matter. Savingprogress.com slash forums.html. As always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.